is the shore, ladies and gentlemen, and yet begging for more. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's Ricky, little Ricky in the background, and he's going to be there with me for a moment because he wants you to know something. He says, I love you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, want to thank all of you for putting up with me the last couple of weeks as we worked on the two complaints. I believe that it is a extremely great feat to be able to complete both of them. I say a lot of work. And when I say a lot of work, I mean a lot of work. Uh, man, I, I can only guess about since last Thursday when I started on this one. Looking at a full week. Because Thursday's a couple of hours from now. So, seven days putting this document together. Now, there might be a few, not, not a lot, but a few typos. But I went back through the document and corrected a bunch of things. If you notice a problem, if you see a problem, highlight it. Let me know. Uh, look, I don't want you nitpicking on everything because that ain't that ain't the issue. Okay? Just want to make sure y'all know that. Oh, and I do want to show you guys something. There, there is a case that involves us. And I was showing you guys that we paid the fees and everything. And... I was looking at the paperwork <laughs> because I know what case I paid for and you see that's my name right there showing they received the receipt now you notice they put my name and this name on here now and that's them trying to come at me because they wanna and then they have this person, and then they do the attorneys and everything, but they didn't put everybody's name on here. Now, I couldn't figure out why they didn't put everybody's name on there. So, let me make sure of this. No, that's not it. Give me a second to find the document so I can show you guys what went on. Because I think it's impotent. So, give me one second. I need you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the same case. I Normally, I would actually put the name of the clerk up there in the phone number and tell you guys to call them and let them know how crooked they are. You see this case right here? Plaza Mortgage versus Innovative Holdings. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys need to understand something. This right here, it's not the same case. This is a case we were never served on. So let me show you how we know we were never served on. These names right here, not involved in this case. This is Penny Mac. He is involved in this case. He is not. This is a Penny Mac case. They never notified us of this case. So, and apparently... They're writing a Mr. Johnson. I don't know who Mr. Johnson is. Oh, Mr. Johnston. Oh, this is from the Ninth Circuit Court of... I mean, not the Ninth Circuit, the... What is it? Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. This is them letting this idiot who says, Oh, well, we're going to go ahead and order the court to refund the money back to you. Look here, you ignorant... I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, they did this on purpose. But now that I was able to see all the names... They already know that these are not the names for this matter. Okay? So, we will take care of this stupidity uh, very soon. That's the first thing. They knew exactly who the case was involving. They wanted to play games. And closes a judgment issued as a mandate. Basically, we ain't handling this. This ain't got nothing to do with us. Ladies and gentlemen, while I had you on hold... This document, the mortgage fraud claim of alleged criminal conduct, this is the mortgage fraud claim. It's online right now. It's there for you. Now, I want you guys to understand, I don't have a mortgage. Okay? I, there's nothing I can do with that document. So that document isn't for me. I didn't spend all this time. You're not paying me for it. Well, you already did. Do you understand? For both of those complaints, you already paid me for that. Go ahead. Go 
go ahead and talk to the people who say that that's probably the best work you've ever done. I told all of you, those of you who did help, I told you if you did that I would give you what I could. That that would give me the time to provide that for you. Take a look at what we did with this document. Since 1933, the United States has been in a state of declared national emergency. These proclamations have gave force to 470 provisions of federal laws. These hundreds of statutes delegate to the president extraordinary power exercised by Congress, which in effect, which, excuse me, affects the lives of American citizens in a host of all-encompassing manner. This vast range of powers taken together confer enough authority to rule this country without reference to normal constitutional process. Then we give them the Senate report where they can find that quote. That's why we can say it's a fact. So don't sit up here and tell us that you loaned us money and we don't have a right to question it. Why can't we tell them that? Because here are notes from the very same record of the 1990, uh, 1933 March 9th Act. The first section of the bill, as I grasp it, is particularly the war powers that were given back in 1917, Training with the Enemies Act. I would like to ask the chairman of the committee if this is a plan to change the holding of the security backed by Federal Reserve notes to the Treasury of the United States rather than to the Federal Reserve agent, the banks. This provision is for the issuance of Federal Reserve Bank notes and not Federal Reserve notes. And the security backed of the obligation, uh, the notes, the drafts, the bills of exchange, we can do bills of exchange, that's what the hour style money orders are, bills of exchange under the Bills of Exchange Act. Bank acceptance, um, outlined in a section to which the gentleman is referred. Um, well, well, then, M McFadden says, then, the new circulation is to be Federal Reserve banknotes and not Federal Reserve notes. Is that true? Insofar as the provisions of this section is concerned, yes. Uh, from my observation, the bill is, um, as it was written in the House, uh, it would appear that the amount of banknotes that might be issued by the Federal Reserve System uh, is not limited. Uh, we could do stimulus checks for trillions of dollars. Uh, that would depend entirely upon the amount of collateral. The amount of collateral, yeah, all the homes of the United States are owned, okay, that is present from time to time. Well, yes, I think that is correct. Okay. Then we have Congress documenting. Congress did not provide a continuation of the emergency or did provide for a continuation of the emergency and of any economic san san sanctions that were as a result of the presidential declaration of national emergency that were in effect on July 7th 1977 subject to automatic termination unless they were renewed annually however this provision allowed for a continuation of the national bankruptcy and the national banking holiday, as well as sanctions on the regimes of Cuba, North Korea, China, Vietnam, to continue without the president having to declare a new national emergency under the IEEPA. Donald Trump was definitely a fan of this Trading with the Enemy Act provision, the National Emergency Act. He issued a bunch of them at the end of his presidency. So... The Attorney General's in charge, his office is in charge of defending the rights of the public. And because I am a member of the public, and that this matter involves public interest and affects such a vast and wide range of individuals, I must insist that my claims and or allegations be taken seriously and that due process of law ensue. As stated, there is a claim that I owe monies to someone. And if that is the case, I am more than willing to pay whatever it is that I am supposed to pay. <coughs> whatever it is that I receive, I'm willing to pay that junk back. If the bank did indeed loan lawful monies to my person, and they can verify the species of currency, since I have just discovered that the United States Treasury has documented that Federal Reserve notes have no value, which means the bank could not have loaned me Federal Reserve notes. And... Where can I gain access to the species of currency so as to repay the loan? 
I don't readily do so. You tell me what I can use to pay it back, and you tell me where I can gain access to it, man, I'll pay that back in a split second. There is no currency for you to pay back unless you use your... Um, sorry, you guys know about the fact that you have, under the new law, the money will be issued to the bank in return for government obligations, your properties. The money will be worth 100 cents on a dollar because it is backed by the credit of the nation. You all are the credit of the nation. That it represents a mortgage on all the homes and all of the people of the nation. Go back, read it. It's House Resolution. It's the record. It's the actual comments that they made during that session. That the money represents a mortgage on all of the home. Now, they're not talking. You need to understand, they're not talking about Federal Reserve notes. Federal Reserve notes, we just read that section. Federal Reserve notes was not what was ordered. It was Federal Reserve bank notes. So what money are they talking about? They're talking about the credit of the nation. Pay attention. Under the new law, the money is issued to the banks in return for government obligations. The money is worth 100 cents on the dollars because it is backed by the credit of the nation. The money is the credit, ladies and gentlemen. That's why it's worth 100 cents on the dollar. They created this new currency. It was credit. That's what we're doing. We are documenting this, that this is what the facts are. So don't sit up here and tell us that we are bringing forth a frivolous argument because these are the actual records. That's why we're listing them as facts. See, nobody can say that we're bringing in a valueless claim. I seek access not only to my security so that I can settle all debts associated with my account, my name, my person, my interests. This is the part I was talking about in the other video that I couldn't locate. I have attained the age of the majority, am neither a minor nor an infant, and incapable of handling my own affairs, as is evident by this complaint and articulation of my concerns. See, this ain't supposed to be, it's supposed to be, and am capable, so I got to correct that. So if you're going to download this, you're going to have to wait until I correct that, because that's one of those typos. Can't have incapable, we got to have capable. So I'll be putting this up, and then I'll be reloading this up in just a second so i'll see you guys in a second thank you guys for visiting thank you guys for paying attention but i do have to correct this and when i correct this you all need to understand something there are going to be some typos because i went over the document but because you're letting speech recognition read it back i tried to read over it i'm just too tired to read over it okay it, it, hey hey i caught it now but because of how tired I is, and I's tired, and you see that keeps happening, <clears throat> and I'll fix that. That's because every time I'm connected online, they know that I'm doing this, and they do stupid things like that. It took me an hour, people, to get that working. That's the games they play. No, it, it's not no coincidence, because nothing else is running. Take a look at my system. Nothing else is running in the background. Nothing. So there's not, no reason for that to shut down. This is I'm running bare systems right now because I'm using the phablet to watch things on and all that stuff. So I'm going to put this up. You guys will have it. I'm tired. I'm going to get this up now. I'm not going to wait till tomorrow morning. I'm going to correct that. Definitely incapable and turn it to am capable now. So have a good day, everybody. Got to go.